good afternoon. In July this year, I participated in forum to come up with a strategy and plan for peace and unification on the Korean Peninsula together with all of you who are here, here today. I am very pleased to discuss the new future of Korean Peninsula with you once again. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the Glo Global Peace Foundation, East West Institute, Action for Korean United and One Korea Foundation, and Dr. Moon Hyun Jin, who organized this forum. I would also like to thank my colleague, Korean lawmaker, who joined the forum amid their busy schedule, and leaders of Korean civil society uh, who visited the U U.S. the time. It has been only four months since we had the first discussion in July, but the situation surrounding the Korean Peninsula has changed a lot. Back in July, the military tensions on the Korean Peninsula reached at its peak due to a series of Korean, North Korea's missile and nuclear weapon test, but it is coming up to a state of a ruler. Why the democratic and defense policy of the newly established Moon Jae-in government seemed un unclear in July. Now we have a main stand for the development of a Korea-US alliance and strategic balance diplomacy. Why there was a possible conflict between Korea and the US and the concern about the weakening of Korea-US military cooperation as President Trump's and to Korea proved we are now seeing the intensified Korea-US joint response to the North Korea's threat. Why the international cooperation for the North Korea on the issue became difficult due to the frigid relation between Korea and China in July. The Korean-China strategy partnership is now being restored. However, it is not that the Korean Peninsula has entered a path of peace and reconciliation. The military provocation and diplomatic threat by the North are still continuing. Such a serious situation has brought expert from Korea and the US together here today to seek a solution to ease tensions. Ambrose Bierce, a famous writer, American, has left us famous thing in the international issues. Peace is a period in between the two worlds to deceive each other. There is no other thing that more perfectly fit has saying that North Korea's military problem. In terms of the inter-Korean relations, peace has been the temporary period in between the acceleration of Korean military power and next accelerations. Our the Minju government will tackle the North Korea's nuclear weapon and missile threat wisely through lesson learned from the cynical rhetoric of peers. There are a series of conflicting options in front of the Republic of Korea as follows. Korea-led self-defense versus the acceleration of Korea-US alliance, securing the independence and nuclear de deterrent versus the de uh, denuclearization of the Korean peninsula, peaceful co-op Perry via the reconciliation and cooperation between the two Korea versus the chain of the North Korean regime. 
a balanced strategy for the US, China, Japan, Russia versus the enhanced of the joint military community of Korea. The US and Japan, these options appear to the contradictory and either or what issue. The national interest of Korea and allied countries could uh, collide. However, our uh, Minju government are going to tackle such as tangled challenge through the broad support, broad support of our people and the normalization of relations with neighboring countries. Lastly, I have one thing to emphasize. That is the U.S. cooperation for military buildup of South Korea. Why? Why there was a lot of demand for the nuclear armament of Korea, South Korea, or the introduction of tactical nuclear weapons as a contain measures for the intensified North Korea's nuclear missile provocation. Korea has op opted to enhance the expanded deterrence strategy along with the United States. There are many difficulties in responding to nuclear weapons with conventional weapons. The most security and cheapest response to nu nuclear weapon is to possess them. The United States should support such a difficult choice of the Moon Jae-in government in a practical way. In this end, we need your support to implement the challenge of revising the Korea-US missile agreement, which restricts the ballistic missile range and the nuclear energy agreement, which does not allow nuclear reprocessing facilities together in less proper and constructive ways. In addition, in order to balance our military power with that of North Korea, I ask you your strong support to help Korea acquire and develop sophisticated military assets, including F-35A fighter, AH-64 Apache helicopter, Global Hawk High Altitude Online civilian vehicle, and the EGIS combat system, which are strictly control controlled by the U.S. Congress. Thank you very much for listening.